A student who drives part-time picks up two mysterious women for a night of parties in L.A. But when he discovers they're dangerous and part of a secretive world, he has to fight to survive. The movie opens with a narration stating that in the past, vampires and humans used to hunt and kill each other. However, the intense fight at Boyle Heights comes to an end with a truce. The truce contains three rules. First, vampires should not let humans know that they exist. Second, vampires cannot drink blood unwillingly. Lastly, never enter Boyle Heights without permission. In the opening scene, Maria is doing laundry when her boyfriend Jay Perez appears. The two kiss before they walk out and drive. While driving in the middle of the night, another car driving fast goes beside them. Jay immediately gets his gun and stares at the man. The man appears to be a vampire named Victor, a high-ranking vampire. The stoplight turns green, and Jay drives the car towards their headquarters to warn his comrades. Unfortunately, when Jay enters the headquarters, his comrades are hanging upside down dead. After seeing the dead bodies, he hears the loud scream of Maria outside. He rushes towards the car but is too late. Meanwhile, a college student named Benny Perez, Jay's brother, is a student living with his grandmother and brother. He lives an easy-go-lucky life, like sleeping in class. After class, one of his classmates asks him about a club but requires 300 bucks per head. He doesn't have any funds, which is why he refuses the offer, even though he wants to come. At home, Benny greets his grandmother and goes straight to his brother's room. He finds Jay talking to someone and arranging his things. He talks with him and asks if Jay can lend him his car and give him a job as a chauffeur. Jay refuses at first, but Benny convinces him and eventually lets him. Jay starts to inform Benny about the car and what he has to do. He tells him that if anyone asks his name, Benny should pretend to be Jay. Jay also makes it clear to Benny that he should take the customers where they need to go and head straight back after. After the long briefing, Benny drives to the location of pickup. Upon arriving, Benny gets out of the car and stands beside the car. One woman comes out by the name of Blair, the friend of Zoe, and enters the car first. Zoe comes outside as well and tells Benny that he doesn't look like a driver and enters the car as well. They tell Benny that they must attend the five parties no matter what. While in the car, the three chat and play games to kill boredom. They arrive at the first location, and Benny sees that upon entering, they hand out a red stone to enter the party. Meanwhile, Jay and one of his men talk about Victor attacking them, breaking the peace. Jay tells him that after three generations, he will be the one starting the war and ending the peace at Boyle Heights. Jay finally tells him that it's either Victor or them that will be left in the end. While Benny is inside the car, sleeping, he hears a loud scream of a woman coming from the mansion. He gets curious and is about to check when he finds a red stone on the ground. He picks it up and keeps it for himself. The two come out, and they proceed to the second location. While inside the car, he sees a message from Victor to Zoe. He asks about how Jay is. Benny becomes anxious and tries to call Jay, but he cannot reach him and instead leaves a voice message. Benny sees another bag and tries to open it. He gets overwhelmed when he sees a lot of money inside the bag. He notices that the money has blood stains on it. While looking at the bag, he hears a police mobile behind him searching for something. He gets scared and guilty as he finds out the bag is full of money. He goes outside the car to hide and eventually goes inside the building where Zoe and Blair entered. He walks inside the building and learns that it is a luxurious hotel. As he is walking inside the hotel, he sees a clerk and hands out to her the red stone. She escorts him to the elevator towards the location of Blair and Zoe. Upon arriving, he sees the two sucking blood out of the two men. Zoe immediately pins Benny to the wall and threatens to suck his blood out. Benny in fear reveals that he is not Jay and he only covers for his brother's job. He tells them their identity and pleads not to kill him. One of the guys strapped wakes up and talks with his friend. His friend is unresponsive to his questions which appear to be dead. He panics and threatens the two vampires in anger, but the two vampires go at him and kill him. Benny takes the chance and goes back to the car. He sees the police officer and tries to tell him about the incident. However, the police officer accuses him of taking drugs and arrests him. Fortunately, the two arrive at the scene and tell the officer that he belongs to them. Meanwhile, Victor walks through his collection of humans and drives his car towards the place of one high-profile vampire. 
Grace and Ava confront him for stepping out of line and breaking the rules of the truce. The two are about to ban him, but Victor is not having any of the rules anymore. He kills their bodyguard and kills them both as well. Inside the car, Benny is tense and uneasy about what he witnesses. Blair tries to console him, but none of it worked. She then resorts to telling Benny what is truly happening. She informs him about the five big bosses in the city and the true nature of his brother Jay. He learns that Blair's boss, Victor, will be moving tonight to end the truce and gain soul power. He also learns that his brother is the leader of Boyle Height, who is in charge of maintaining peace and order. Jay and his men go to the mansion of one of the five bosses. Upon arriving, they see dead men and blood all over the place. They see the boss, Geo, sitting injured on a couch. They interrogate him about the location of Victor, but he tells them that Victor is the one who did this to him. He tells them that their next venture is in Three Kings. After saying this, he tries to attack them in need of blood, but they shoot him to stop him. The three arrive at their third location and bring Benny with them because he might escape if they leave him in the car. As they are going inside, some of Benny's classmates see him and mock him. They call him a butler, but Blair sees it and kisses Benny in front of them. When they get deeper into the club, they see a man by the name of Caleb, one of the leaders of Night Legion, sitting. They are about to attack the man when a group of vampire hunters appears on the sides and points at them. When Caleb orders his men to kill them, Benny swiftly acts and smashes a bottle of wine on his head, signaling the fight. Jay also arrives at the club and spots Benny with the two girls. He gets alarmed and calls out to him. However, due to loud music, Benny is not able to hear him and continues to walk with them. He tries to catch them up, but a vampire stops them. He immediately stabs him with his anti-vampire knife and kills him. When the three are near their car, the Night Legion shoots at them. They drive away while Zoe insults them by showing her head in the car. Benny then brings them to his house. Jay pursues them but loses them. While on the way, a police officer tails them at the back and stops to check them. The police officer who stopped them is the same police who tries to arrest Benny in the hotel. He gets straight to the point and informs Jay that Victor is looking for him to talk in the restaurant. Meanwhile, Benny's grandmother tends to his wounds and asks how he got them. Blair comes in and helps her take care of Benny. Zoe calls Victor and tells him that she already killed three bosses, where Victor praises her. Jay arrives at the restaurant and asks Victor about Benny. He then tells Jay about a deal where Jay tells him that Benny and Maria should be out of this. Victor tells him that it's not how things work, nobody walks. Jay immediately shoots Victor in the head, but the shot doesn't work at him and overpowers Jay with his strength. He laughs at him and tells him that he should eat because he saved Maria's meat for him. The three arrive at the last boss, Rocco, meeting him at the entrance. Zoe goes with Rocco, planning to kill him, while Blair and Benny stay together sitting for a chat. Benny tells Blair that Jay is like a father to him, where Blair apologizes to him. Benny asks Blair if she will kill him, but Blair tells him that she will not. Benny gets enticed with Blair and kisses her. Blair and Benny kiss each other passionately. After they kiss, Blair informs Benny that Victor already has Jay. Before even finishing their talk, Zoe attacks Rocco, but Rocco anticipates her attack. Rocco and his men fight with the two girls, while Benny gets the car. After killing Rocco, the two girls go outside immediately, where Zoe gets injured by an arrow to her sides. Benny sees a man who belongs to the Night Legion is trying to kill the two, so he starts the car and hits the guy. The two go to the car, while Blair assists Zoe and covers for them. While driving, Blair tells Benny that Zoe needs blood because she is dying. The sun is also rising, so they need to get into Victor's house to save Zoe and find cover. They arrive at Victor's house, and Blair tells Benny that he should get out before Victor sees him. Benny insists on staying and going in because his brother is inside, but Blair tells him that it's too late and he should leave. Benny inside the car contemplates and thinks about what he should do. He mans up and enters the house. He sees the collection of humans Victor has. One of them is Jay. He tries to get him out of there, but Victor catches him up. Victor then brings him to the girls, where Zoe has fun and calls him Benny Boy. Benny tells Victor that he should instead take him and free Jay. Victor tells him about fresh blood and implies that he may join them being vampires. However, Benny shows his objection by trying to stab Victor with a knife. Victor, with superhuman reflexes and strength, manages to stop Benny and bends his hands. He tells him that he will be their appetizer, Jay as the main course, and their grandmother as their dessert. 
Benny gets angry and tries to stand, but Zoe knees him. Blair gets angry with her and tells Zoe that Benny saved them. Victor gets angry with Blair where Zoe tries to tell him that Blair is only confused. Blair objects and wants to leave their group. Zoe then gets enraged by the thought of Blair, her best friend, leaving her behind. Victor hands out to her a knife and stabs Blair. When they are about to end Blair, Benny clicks Jay's car control and the car breaches open Victor's house, exposing them to the sunlight. Zoe immediately gets hit by the sunlight and burns to death, while Victor manages to hide in the shadows. Jay gets out from the dark and tells Benny that it's a trap. Jay is pulled back into the dark, and Victor pops out, choking Benny by his hand. Victor bites Benny and turns him into a vampire, planning to give Benny the same death as Zoe. Fortunately, Blair gets up from being knocked out and stabs Victor in the back. He slaps Blair hard when he is about to put Benny in the sunlight. Jay suddenly appears from the dark and tackles Victor into the sunlight, killing Victor finally. At the ending of the movie, Jay and Benny talk and bid farewell. Benny, who is now a vampire, goes to the car with Blair and leaves to him a bag full of cash in which the movie ends.